she back again with another vid Another style guaranteed to keep you looking fine Get a lot with a little drinker can keep you simple What's up pretty weirdo gang 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 and welcome or welcome back to my channel I am drinking a pretty weirdo and this is pretty widows fashion where we focus on affordable fashion beauty travel natural hair and lifestyle what's up gang 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 i'm in the car because i forgot to check in before i left the house um but we are at the thrift store i want to do a video on the trends that you can find in a thrift store especially like in this economy money is tight for some we want to fi figure out how we can save any way possible but still look fashionable we're finna go into this thrift store. I've never been in here, so hopefully they have something. This is my first time here, but we're gonna go in here together and see what we can find. Let's go. All right, guys, so the first trend that I found were the raffia bags. Everybody know that everyone is getting into it. Everybody has to have one. And instead of you paying full price for one, why don't you go ahead and check it out at the thrift store? I did find at least three of the raffia bags in the thrift store, and I thought they were cute. Although one of them was not my style, they still could have been somebody else's style. The blue and white one was really, really cute. I love the fringe that it had on it. That was the added detail as well as the brown strap. So make sure you check out the thrift store for a raffia bag. I also found this animal print top that I can wear as a top or a swimsuit cover up. If you know, you know. The next item I found was its tracksuit. Now, athleisure wear is definitely making its comeback and people are getting into it and they're getting into it fast so if you want a come up this one had tags on it if you want to come up or you want to try this trend out make sure you go to your local thrift store so that you can try this trend now i did get lucky and i found another tracksuit this tracksuit was actually nike and it was in really good condition while i'm not trying to try to trend out um, I did leave it in the store, but it was only like $12 and I think it was 50% off. So you can beat a tracksuit for $6 and trying to try it out. We all know that jorts are in right now, but I found these long shorts in a different material. I'm not sure of the material, but these were so good. I just wish I would have gotten them. I hate I didn't. Y'all, and then I found the jorts. Like, I specifically went into the store looking for these because this is a trend that I want to try out, especially because I'm not a short, short kind of girl. I love me a good pair of long shorts so I don't have to show too much thigh meat. And honey, did I, when I say they had the jorts for me, and I should have gotten these, but I didn't. But I'm going to make sure I... Take some of my old jeans and make them some jorts. I don't know if they're going to be as baggy, but I'm going to do it. After leaving the jorts, I found scarves. Girls are starting to get into wearing scarves. Now, I've been wearing them since about 2019, but that's neither here nor there. Get you a scarf. And you can get them from the thrift store. What I would say about this thrift store that I went to, they did not have good prices, especially on the scarves. I don't know if they know, like somebody knows that it's trending, but they did not have good prices. So I didn't get any of these scarves, but I did think they were cute. They weren't worth $5 for me or $6 for me when I can get them elsewhere for a little bit less expensive, um, especially for a used item. You know what I mean? So if scarves are on your radar to try and you have a thrift store that you can check out to see if you have some that are not expensive make sure you try the trend out i love the trend i have tried i ain't trying it like this is i have scarves in my wardrobe so it's something that i know i like but all of these scarves i wanted to get for myself but they were like 
five and six dollars a piece and i'm just not willing to pay that price for you scarves and then i found a raffia hat everybody and their mama they daddy they wearing these raffia hats you know what i mean so since they're wearing them i decided to pick it up and style this so what i styled it with was a scarf i put a scarf around the uh, brim of it and it just looks like i was ready for vacation Hey y'all, so I left the first thrift store. I it, that st get my words together. That store is so unorganized. Oh my god, that would make like me as a if I was a first time thrifter, that would make me so anxious, so anxious. Even me, like I've been thrifting for like ooh, how long have I been thrifting since like 2011 yeah since like 2011 and whoo that store i i can't do that store so i wouldn't i won't be going back to discount village it wasn't a discount either child they got stuff that you can find online for the same price in the thrift store it just doesn't make sense anyhow that's not why i'm here I am at my favorite thrift store, Family Thrift, where it's a little more organized and a little less chaotic in the store. So I'm going into the store so I can find more trends that you guys will probably be looking for and don't want to pay the full price for it. So let's go ahead and get in the store. Immediately going into this thrift store, I just felt calm, like everything was organized. It's also a thrift store that I frequent often. And because of those things, it was just easy for me to navigate. So here I'm going to pick up some, what is it, capris. Now, we know capris are going, are coming back around. And I was a girl that liked capris as a younger girl. And they are here. And what I'm thinking about doing is getting me some capris and putting some like feathers at the end. Because y'all know I love feathers. I just think me get, getting them and putting feathers on them is just going to elevate them. So I'm excited to try that. I can't wait to try it, honestly. So. Okay, anytime that I'm looking for button-ups or some of that sort, I go to the men's section because they always have the best button-ups. And the trend is, here is baby blues, and everybody is getting into blue. And I found some really good baby blue tops in here. That was just one of them, and I only showed y'all because it was Ralph Lauren, and it was $5, but the yellow tag made it half off. Here's another Ralph Lauren, same price. So make sure you check it out at the thrift store. If you've been here a while, then you know that I love denim tops. And it's also a trend, denim on denim. So make sure you go get your denim tops from the thrift store for way less. Although oversized blazers have been a thing, they are becoming more and more trendy. So remember, I get my blazers from the thrift store and a lot of people be asking me about my blazers and a lot of them come from the thrift store. In the men's department, I've showed y'all how to thrift in the men's department. Now, don't forget, um, but I really like this blazer because of the elbow um, cutouts that was on it. I thought that was really cute. Of course, y'all know I love a black blazer, and this was just another another one that was good. Like the buttons were gold, gold, and it just would make an outfit looks amazing. Um, I did find a 
blue, a navy blue one. I don't have many navy blue blazers. I actually don't think I have any at all. So with that being said, an oversized navy blue blazer. Now, I always look at my buttons on my blazer to kind of tell me the condition, but I didn't do that here. I did see that the buttons were gold, um, and that made me want it, but I also need a navy blue bla blazer. And this oversized fit I loved because I can do like a baggy look with it. Um, and then I was looking and I found another blazer that were, was dang near identical to the one that I had previously picked up. Um, and I'm going to show y'all that here. Putting these blazers side by side, by side I can tell the difference. One of them is lighter and one of them is darker, but one of them was 50% off and the other wasn't. So we got the 50% off one. And I like that one because of the um, breast was a little asymmetrical. Then we found this brown blazer. Now I'm a sucker for neutral colors. I'm a sucker for it. And this blazer, the fit on this thing was amazing. I love the fit. Like, it will give me a little sloppy look. I can do it with some baggy jeans. I can wear it to work. I can wear it out with my girls. Like, yeah, I'm going to need it. Another trend is the vest trend. Um, I did try this on. I did not get it because I didn't like the fit on me. Maybe it's me. Um, and I also wasn't too impressed with the color. I'm not a big purple girl. Um, so I left that. And right now I'm just browsing. This is how I look when I'm in the thrift store, I just see what my eye, what catches my eye. And if it catches my eye, I will pick it up just like these pants. These pants are like the gotcho pants or I don't want to say gotcho, but they give me gotcho vibes. <laughs> and those of us that know what gotchos are, we know, but I did like that they were high waisted and they were turned. So they will hit your knees or a little below your knees, making them capri pants. All right, guys, that's all I have. Bye.